Hello there, and today we'll be looking at the perfect Lego stocking fillers for any fan of Lego. And really, it does cover any fan of Lego. There's one really expensive set here, which I would not under any circumstance consider a stocking filler. However, Lego might actually be smart by including this on the list. But before we get into that, my Lego ideas celebration of 15 years is up for a fan vote. So if you want to go support the channel a little bit further or like what you're seeing, please use the link in the top of the description to head over and vote. And thank you so much to all of you that have already voted. It does really mean so much to me. But the main thing we're going to be looking at today, as I said, is the stocking fillers, which on screen you can see I have sorted from low to high because the expensive one I'm leaving to last, I can explain why it is a good stocking filler and I'll also be explaining why it's one of the odd ones for this list. But of course, we start off with the Lego key rings. Honestly, one of the best stocking fillers. I mean, if you've got a partner, a family member, perhaps even a friend who's a fan of a character they have immortalized as a Lego key ring, it's one of the easiest things to buy. They are a fiver. Sometimes you can find them a bit cheaper. I think when I went to the Blue Water Lego store, they were all a fiver. And for some reason, Batgirl was reduced to... I think £2.50 or £3. It was nearly half price. So perhaps they just have an abundance of her in that store. But for the most part, they will be a fiver. And you get the official Lego minifigure. Most of them come with arm printing, leg printing, back printing. If the minifigure themselves do have that element. So Vader, for instance, will have arm printing on his key ring. But the detail that goes into them, just as nice as the Lego minifigure. They can attach them to keys, to whichever key rings they have. It's... Mostly just keys nowadays, but even if they have a bag, such as a rucksack or a handbag, they can clip it to the bag, and it's just a very nice accessory to have. Now, the next ones are... I'm actually going to come back to the tulips, but we have a tuk-tuk, we have a Vespa, and I believe there's a taxi as well. They've not shown the taxi on the list, but when we went into the Lego store, which was updated for Christmas, Leicester Square had a lovely winter lodge on the top floor, which did actually have the tuk-tuk, taxi, and Vespa next to each other. They're lovely stocking fillers, they're not all minifigure scale, I guess the tuk-tuk is, the taxi's a bit smaller, the Vespa's a bit bigger, but they're lovely models. If you have someone who's a fan of New York taxis or has more of a vehicular display, the Vespa, the tuk-tuk, all of them are great choices and honestly I'm surprised I haven't picked up the tuk-tuk or Vespa. They're great builds and if I need the £9 to get to a gift with purchase at any point, they're definitely going to be one of the first things I look to add to my basket. Now, I did skip over the flowers, but it doesn't mean you have to. The flowers are really cool. In fact, we're getting a daffodil set in the new year, which has just been released by, I think, one of the Lego stores. It might have been JB Spillwarren or it might have been Lucky Bricks. But one of them just posted pictures of the daffodils. They look so similar to the last set of daffodils we got. The only difference is the petals are arranged a bit differently. They're a bit more spread out. The shield pieces are actually... Connected in there a bit more stronger. And these flowers just look so great. I mean, the stems are quite unique pieces. A lot of technique to hold them together. But that just shows that they're going to be very sturdy. I like the barnacle pieces here for the leaves. And it's really unique way of building the flowers. So I might have to try and build some flowers on my own at some point. But for now, a great stocking filler they will be. We also have a few of the smaller sets. We've got sunflowers and roses just to add to the daffodils. They do look good. Actually, I think the sunflowers are my favourite pieces. They look like they use some leaves and I can't tell whether that's ore pieces or perhaps that's knives. But either way, it's going to be a really nice technique to get them all there. And once again, the technique stems just make them so sturdy. But we do have... A creative set for someone who's perhaps on the younger side and wants to use their imagination to build whatever they like. Even for an older fan of Lego, buying them this box of bricks can be really helpful. It includes a load of bricks that aren't necessarily too common in sets, especially these eye pieces if they're making any sort of monsters or creatures down the line. But I really like these brick boxes. In fact, if you're able to afford a bit more in Asda's for Black Friday and until they stock out towards Christmas, you can actually, for triple the money, I think that's about 150, 200 pieces in the 899 set. This set here, 1,500 pieces, you can see in the corner, only costs 30 quid. So if you really wanted to splash out, or perhaps you have a few children that you could share this between, this is really a lot better quality. I mean, this works out to about two pence per brick. 
even full price this is a lot better than that as for 60 quid you're getting 1500 pieces it's a really good deal and if you have multiple people you're buying for tend to look towards the bigger bricks as splitting this between your children will work out a lot more cost effective than buying many of these cheaper sets but they're not the only little sets you can get if you've got a little one who's a fan of marvel such as black panther here this set is really cool in fact i actually waited for it to go on sale and picked it up when i went to see the second black panther movie in cinemas it was on sale in smiths and even for this full price you're getting too many figures which for nine pound is almost unheard of now it's about half the price of a star wars battle pack and you're getting half the minifigures so that's what I go off, and I think that's good value. You're also getting this printed target piece, a little play feature where you can flick missiles at it, and also some weapons, and a nice little car for them to stand on and just skate around. It's a great little set, and especially for a stocking filler, I think this is sort of the extent you'd be looking at. There's also equivalents here for Bell's Ballroom, which is more of a Duplo set, and... You've even got a few of these bigger creative three-in-ones, the fantasy forest creatures. Now, I know for some of these, you actually get a fourth bonus build if you're using the Lego Builder app. So definitely check that out if you're interested in the other builds. But you can see it is one of the three-in-ones. You've got a squirrel, you've also got a rabbit and some sort of animal, perhaps a baby deer or something, and also the owl and the hedgehog. Read in this interesting storybook, which is some cool pieces. Now... We move on to the expensive sets and realistically I think the $8.99, maybe the Sunflowers and Roses are the extent of stocking fillers. Anything too past a tenner. We're looking at more gift territory here as I think if I was to receive this Obi-Wan and Vader for a stocking filler, I'd be wondering what they're giving me as a present. Perhaps you're not doing presents and you're just doing a massive stocking but I do think this is more present territory. However, if you again have two kids or perhaps you're buying for a couple you can put one of these in the stocking the problem comes when it's only the one box if they were to box these separately and you got a kenobi invader box that would be perfect stocking fillers and i can see what lego are thinking here but you're only getting the one box so try and fit that in a regular size stocking but that being said if you were to see this as two separate stocking fillers and perhaps just took out the bags and instruction manuals and package them up separately in a nice paper bag then this would make an awesome stocking filler giving one half kenobi one half vader one half jake one half his avatar it's a great idea and honestly i think that's what saves this on the stocking filler list what is sort of unredeemable is this stunt challenge and a few of these other sets 18 odd pound i understand that they're more of the four plus sets and for a younger audience, you're not looking at too complex of builds, even with Jay's Thunder Dragon here. But I think coming up to £20, I mean, this is the Battle Pack, and I don't think a Battle Pack is a stocking filler. I really think that is a main presence. So Lego definitely need to reevaluate what they're including on this list. Now, we're getting to some interesting ones. Again, the Speed Champions, their main presence. I mean, if you are going all out, I get that some people will have more money and be able to afford some of the larger sets for Christmas. I wonder how many people are trying to get the UCS Veneta for a loved one or one of their children. Because that is honestly probably a gift that will span the next few Christmases. So you want to make that last. But the Speed Champions, they're more presents than they are stocking fillers. And I'd love to see them try and fit some of these sets into their own stocking. £25 for a Lego stocking. It's really cool. You get to use it year in, year out. So... For most people that price is not going to deter them and you do actually get six patches the stocking comes plain you get six patches where you can just rearrange them place them on and i can't remember what the sixth one was but they had them in the lego store and i just don't think the speed champions or that massive stunt set is going to fit anywhere near this stocking let alone inside it and they are definitely main gifts so I don't really agree with most of them. Again, as I said, the bricks and functions, you can definitely split into a few different stockings. Perhaps they usually come in different bags. Perhaps you can give a kid each a different bag or two and see what they build with the pieces they get. And that'll be really interesting to see. Again, the bath time sets. Now, these tend to be a bit expensive, but that just makes a main presence. This is not fitting in a stocking, nor is the ice cream truck. And I just don't see how these are stocking fillers. The one that gets away is the 40 pound one it's 40 pound no way stocking filler but 
if you have four kids and again one bag and instruction they give you four sets of instructions and you could probably even just include the qr code if they've all got mobile devices you might not even need to stick the instructions in the stock in you'll definitely get a bag and a bit of paper or the instructions in the stock in and it does work out a lot more expensive than the two packs the two packs were like 12.99 it's about 650 649 per brick heads this works out to about 10 up per brick heads but you're getting four hogwarts professors I guess they must value Harry Potter a bit more than something like Star Wars and Avatar. And that explains why some of the sets really do cost quite a bit. But if you do have four kids and they're all interested in Harry Potter, Star Wars Avatar isn't really going to matter. This is a great set for a stocking filler. Honestly, this could be the main stocking filler present because add a few sweets, add a few chocolates, perhaps grab this and a box of your favourite chocolates. You can mix them together and honestly, that's your stocking sorted. So... Let me know what you think about these Lego stocking fillers. I definitely think a few of these are pretty expensive, especially even for Lego standards. There are so many other £9 sets, so many other £12.99 sets that they could have included instead of the £25 ice cream police truck, which is a present, no doubt about it. So let me know what you think about these Lego stocking fillers down below and what stocking fillers you're picking up for Christmas, if you even do stockings, as especially when it comes to Lego most of these are going to end up as presents so do drop a like if you like this video and do subscribe for more content such as this mocks reviews and so much more awesome lego content coming in the future once again be sure to check out my ideas top of the description and make your vote count but that is all for now and may the bricks be with you always